Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to activate your Windows license genuinely. And I just want to show you guys if you're having problems activating, this tutorial should hopefully address the problem. I should note that users of Windows 7 and Windows 8 should still have the ability to upgrade to Windows 10 for free through the Windows 10 media creation tool. And even if you are not eligible for an upgrade, you can still upgrade without selecting a product key. So you can install without a product key and you should have the functionality of Windows 10. So it's not necessarily you're gonna lose any security because of it, but at least at this time, if you are experiencing a non-genuine Windows, it's not like you're not gonna be receiving updates. But regardless, we're gonna just jump into how to hopefully troubleshoot this problem. And we're gonna start by opening up the star menu and we're going to search up activate and the best manager comes up should say activation underneath system settings I'm going to left click on it once to open it up it's going to say upgrade your additional windows and you can change your product key by clicking on this as well right here and there should be an option underneath if you are not have a if you don't have a genuine windows installation it'll say troubleshoot or troubleshoot activation and if you're not seeing anything like that here so I'm gonna open up a web browser here and I'm gonna go on to Google and now on Google I'm gonna type in troubleshoot Windows 10 activation and you see there's a link that says using the activation troubleshooter underneath Windows help you can click on that to open it up. And you can see that like they walk through as well, going under start, settings, and then underneath activation like we just went to. And then there would be an option to troubleshoot. Please keep in mind you might need to be an administrator in order to do that. And they do have a few suggestions that the troubleshooter would be able to fix especially if you had a license for one version of Windows 10 but you're using it to activate another. Or you also made a hardware change. I know that's an also an issue that happens frequently and that is not new with Windows 10 as well. And if you receive an error code that's not covered by troubleshooting steps below, you can click on this Get Help with Windows Activation Errors by clicking on that. And if you scroll down, there are different error alerts you would get on this page. And you might be able to troubleshoot your specific error message by just matching it up with the one on the right side. Hopefully for most people, by going underneath the troubleshoot option that should appear here if you're unable to activate Windows, that should resolve most problems. However, if you're obviously using a cracked or legitimate version of Windows 10, it's not going to work. At least these legitimate methods. And like I mentioned before, I really don't understand why people feel the need to pirate Windows 10 when it's not really necessary. Anyway, I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.